All right, guys, Hazing here. Welcome back to the channel for another Street Fighter Duel video. And in this one, we're going to be going over this Satsui Awakening event, okay? This is really going to be the only video you need for this entire event because the way that this event is structured is very much like events we've already had in the past, okay? Um, now, we'll go over the real basic stuff first of all, and then we'll kind of go over progression, okay? So first of all, you've got this board again, and um, you guys will know this is done by your daily missions. You do your daily missions, do all of them, you will get, I think it's 80 or 100 you get, um, and you can do, actually is it, it might, might be enough to open twice, I'm not sure, it's, it's something in between. But you can open this either once or twice a day, um, but you end up building up a surplus and then you can open it twice a day every single day. You will get to the end of this and most likely this won't reset. It would be nice if they'd listened to feedback um, and they've implemented some system where it does reset, but I wouldn't bank on it. That's all I'm saying, I would not bank on it resetting, okay? So you'll get some nice stuff in here, some really good rewards, um, get a lot of stuff here actually help you in your pulls, maybe you'll get this guy now, maybe you'll get him later, but you should probably turn your focus to this dude because far and away best unit in the game. Now there is basically two different modes to this game, okay, that is going to be our content for this event. So there's no going about a map doing like little quests before you get to battles, it's more or less letting us just go straight in and start doing the stuff, okay. So you've got four battles here that are going to open up on a timed basis and with each of these battles you are going to get some chests that you can open and you get these things here called Battle Lust Manuals, remember them, okay? Your score, what you set in this early on is not going to be your overriding score so don't worry too much about the scores that you're setting too early on, okay? So again, do this for all four, we will get tiered rewards and I'm assuming if I go and look at the leaderboard and I look at rewards, there you go, same as usual, top three are going to get special summoning tickets and then it's going to be divination tokens for everyone else basically, um, if you can get within the top 50. We know how that works, there should be four leaderboards so that's a lot of chances to get yourself some um, special summoning tickets, okay? Now if we move on from here, we can see you've also got this thing here called Conqueror's Tower. If you look at Conqueror's Tower, um, you've probably played something similar to this before. You follow a path, you can go up and like go up this way, and you can get a chest, you can go down this way, get a chest, you can go across here for some more bonuses and battles, all the way to the boss, clear everything, get three stars, and you'll get your summoning tickets. Pretty standard affair, people have done this loads of times. You get your little tokens from down here. Now I've not done one of these yet so we'll, we'll do one just now and then we'll talk about basically how this mode is going to operate and function on a more power basis okay. So I'm not going to go mental here I'm just going to use this team. I've, I'm not even going to tune it right so I'm, I'm in no way shape or form am I going to set a height. Well actually do you know what I'll probably do this actually. Um, I'm, I'm in no way shape or form expecting to set any form of scores here that will be deemed as fantastic or whatever um, but if you look at the power golf there I'm going to beat this team anyway so we'll just do this one stage just now just so that we can see sort of a, what happens next okay let's just hope it goes through it quickly should go through it quickly my camera is ever so slightly juddery I can see that so I'm, I'm hoping that that is not going to affect the recording um, it might because I've just realised I do not have my power adapter plugged in and this laptop can be awful funny when I don't have my power adapter plugged in. So you've got one of these for completing this, right? So now that we've got one of these, you can see that we've got three options. I'll choose the chest, right? Secret training. This is basically what we have in the actual secret training. So, you know, uncover the tiles, get the options as fast as possible. I'm not going to do that on camera. You know how to do it. It's a match puzzle, right? So that'll give you some bonus rewards. Anyway, as you move along here, things are going to get tougher. And that is also the same on the boss. People are going to post scores that look crazy. How are they doing that? They're doing that using this, okay? Now, this battle lust, or call it a skill tree, is essentially the same idea as the bench, right? It's more or less the same idea as the bench. Except on this one, you get two. You've got the talent and you've also got the EX move, okay? Now, the EX move is going to allow you to essentially get a really good trial of the new EX move, more than anything, but this is going to help you, okay? It's going to help you score more, it's going to help you progress more. On this one here, Talent Tree, 
you obviously are able to level up things like crit damage, things like HP, and things like attack bonus and defense bonus. This is what is going to push you on in this event, okay? So anything that you do now that you struggle to progress on, that you struggle to beat and you struggle to do, you are going to be able to do that by simply taking your time and upgrading this. There is no secret sauce, right? There is no secret sauce. There will probably be strategies for you to get higher scores in the leaderboards, okay? That happens with every event and to be honest, I could make videos about every single one of those and I might, right? But being real with you guys, just look at the leaderboard. I mean, that's what everybody does anyway. Look at the leaderboard, see what other people are doing. That's your strategy. That is it, you know? Um, I could really just do the whole YouTuber thing and try and make 40 million videos out of this event. But realistically, all the tools are here at your disposal, right? You can literally run this, level up what you need to level up. You'll get stronger, you'll do more damage, you'll beat things easier. It's just going to take you time. With regards to the bosses, if we go back in here, Divine Execution. Oh, look, Vega. I wonder what people are doing for Vega. Leaderboard, stats. There you go. This is the kind of things that he's using. Okay, you go in, do the same type of team building, and you could get very similar results. Okay, now this one here, we'll do one just now because it does look a lot like it's going to be almost a bit like your... Um, Battle Royale mode type thing. Um, I am not at all looking to build an optimal setup here. I am just going to throw people onto this team to kind of see what we're going to get with regards to an outcome. Um, again, I'm not right now aiming for any kind of score. I am just throwing people on here so that I can run this one time just so that we can see what it looks like on camera. Right? So if I go back to here, throw you on there, we will throw, this isn't even a team, right? I'm just literally throwing people on here for the sake of throwing people on here. We'll do that. Yeah, that'll work, right? I don't even care because this is literally for example purposes only. Throw you up there, throw you there. Actually change you over you. Um, no, I know I said it's example purposes only, but you know, should still maybe put a tiny degree of effort into this. We're going to need to totally fix this entire team. Um, you? Right, cool. Okay, so let's just see. Now, I've really put no real massive effort into what I was building there. Um, it's more or less just so that we can run through once to see what kind of score we can set, right? So Vega's obviously invincible. He's going to kill this team. He's going to then kill the next team and the next team. Maybe he won't kill them. Maybe they will survive and time out and move on to the next one. Um, from what I gather, like just immediately by looking at this, it's going to be a combined score. I doubt very much it's going to take your best of three scores. Um, I mean, it might. I guess we'll find that out in just a minute. Or because I can't skip this, what, 90, 90, one minute, two minutes, three minutes, three minutes. Three minutes. It's going to take three minutes for all three runs. Um, but yeah, so there's time over, right? What score did I get with that team? Does it show me? No, it doesn't show me. So it's going to be a combined score, right? It's going to be a combined score. It would be nice if I could just automatically do that. These following teams are not going to do much, I don't expect. Um, they might, but I don't expect them to. I think the good idea here would probably be because you've obviously got a time limit um, to run not everything in one team. Um, it would make more sense to try and make three strong teams. So rather than stacking a team with, say, Fashion Blanca, Monster Hunter Ken, if you've got them, Bison. If they're your three strongest hitters, you might want to spread them about a little bit because you've got 90 seconds on each fight. So that's 90 seconds where they can do more damage rather than capping out at 90 seconds on the one really strong team. I'll know by the end of this if that is a good strategy or not because obviously we'll see where this puts me on the leaderboard. Um, but again, you're going to have to do this over time. You're going to have to get those nodes, build them up, get stronger passively via those upgrades. That's really what's going to push you on. That's really what's going to make you do a lot more damage in events like this. Must be honest, I like this. Um, if this is how these events are going to go moving forward, 
to me that's a lot more appealing than those stages that you just kind of move around arbitrarily picking up rewards you know and um, the totals if you go and count them we're not getting any less tickets this way so we're not missing out and there's going to be a lot more strategy involved because you've got to build multiple teams and do it differently so to me it's, it potentially seems like it's going to be a lot more fun we'll be able to see now where i've got with that right so i've not topped leaderboard again i do need to actually put some effort into building the teams but where did that put me it put me nowhere near the top of the leaderboard right but i do get another one of these now and i can now go into battle lost and i would probably i would i would probably upgrade me personally i would probably upgrade crit damage so i'm going to do that i'll upgrade crit damage we can do that an additional two times um, and you'll obviously start to get more and more points based on these upgrades so guys this is a, a a marathon not a sprint so don't worry too much about how you're progressing starting out this is something that you're going to basically progress easier as time passes you're going to do your dailies using these things up here you're going to gain more of these and you are going to get stronger so take your time don't sweat it and get everything that this event has available to give you anyway guys i've been hazing thanks for watching catch you in the next one peace